and keep me grounded grinding just like i'm skating so i'll be staying focused the game is up Hello everyone, it is Cryptograms here. Welcome back to another Unity Auto Games tutorial video. This is episode 5.3, and today we're gonna be working on the engineering notation. If you find this video helpful, make sure you leave a like, share with your friends, comment below, and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here, and turn on that bell if you wanna get notified for future videos and live streams. Anyways, let's just hop right into it. So this is going to be yet another very simple video. I'm pretty much just gonna be doing some copying and pasting because of how simple this notation is. Basically, we're combining the standard and scientific notation. So we're going to be grabbing everything from the standard notation and just getting rid of parts of it. So let's start with our uh, switch statement. So first, we're going to add a case two. This will determine our engineering notation. And what we want to do is return our um, our number string, which we already have up here. So we can just copy this. So it's going to look just like this. We want to add in our E and for our exponent, we're going to be stealing it from the standard notation as well. So we're just going to grab it from uh, the standard notation at index um, this equation right here. All right. So it's a bit big for my screen, but again, we have our number right here, the first uh, part of the number before the E. And then we have our E that splits between the the mantissa and the exponents. So, and then we have our exponent here, which is the big doubles exponent minus the its exponent uh, mod three. And we're going to do, um, we're gonna format it with zero digits and we use N. So we wanna get that comma um, for our exponent when we have bigger numbers, just like we do for scientific. So that is literally all we need to do for the actual notation method. Now we need to modify some settings in order to be able to change to our engineering notation because we haven't implemented that yet. So next let's head to our settings script. So first we want to add on to this notation names array. So I'm just gonna add engineering. Great, that is all we need to do with this. So now let's give it a try. All right, so let's head to settings. Let's switch it to engineering and it should look something like this. So again, it's like a mix of standard and scientific and we would have to change the, the size of the text for it to actually look good, but yeah. So as you can see, we have the three numbers here and the exponent changes every three digits. So yeah, that is the engineering notation in action. I hope this video was helpful. And if you guys liked it, make sure you please leave a like as it really helps the videos. Subscribe if you're new around here and turn on the bell if you wanna get notified for future videos and live streams. Anyways, I will see you guys in episode 5.4, which will be logarithmic notation. So if you're interested in that, make sure you stay tuned for that video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next one. Have a great day or night. Peace. See, I'll be up in class, but my mind is in the clouds, though. Know the teacher's mad, cause my music beating loud, ho. Tell me keep it down, say I kill it on the down low. And if I turn it up, then I'm bound to attract the crowd. So no wonder me and Tim be out of state, doing things you can't imagine. Chris Angel on the mic, give me a beat, I'll show you magic. We born in different places.